Now I have a big data set okay, on which I want to create a pivot. Okay, and you can see that there are like so many flexibilities are there. Okay. So this data set is, let's say, for knowledge varsity. This is the December, uh, these are the month. Okay, these are the salesmen and where they where they are placed, which region they are operating, which course they are selling, how many customers they are having, okay, they are make they have made sale, how much sales they have made, and how much profit they have made. So this is the data. Typically, uh, sales and marketing data. Okay, or maybe a finance uh, person or C CFO may be also taking this data. Right? Now you cannot show this data to a finance uh, manager. Right? You have to like uh, create a, a data such that they just see, they have very less time. They just want to see, okay, how much is the sales region wise? Okay, right? So how much is the sales, let's say, let's say here, how much is the sales month wise? Okay, they want to see. So what we do? So we say, we'll select this data, insert a pivot table, we will create a new sheet and we have all this data, right? So we can say month wise, because we want month wise, so month will come in the row. So see in the row table, month has come and what you want? You want month wise sales, okay, you can click on the sales and you can press it here. So you can get the month wise sale. So you want to change the sum of net sales. You want to change what you want to say, let's say net sales. Okay. Right. Here you cannot uh, do name or already exist. So what we can do is we go to field settings and we say net sales. Okay. It is okay. And maybe uh, other we have already shown. So let's say sales we we'll say, okay. Okay, sales. So already some existing one would be there. That's why. So sales has come. Row labels, I don't want row labels. I want it months. Okay. So months have come. So this type of thing you should change. So now the person will say, okay, the month wise sales has come. Okay. Now he said that I don't want, I want these grid lines to be going and I don't want this grand total to be there. Okay. So what you do? So you can go to the design and grand totals. You say off and you don't see any grand total. See, if you see on for rows and columns, as of now only the rows it is coming, you don't want, you make it off. Yes, maybe they want, actually many of the time they want. So we'll say on for rows. So we on for columns, sorry. Okay, on for columns, it will come. Okay. But uh, have you seen this um, uh, reports? Okay, typically we don't want like, uh, month wise let's say they will say no i don't want month wise i want yearly data so i want 2009 data and i want 2010 data so what you do is you have to group it so you group it and you say that is starting at 2009 and ending at 2010 and see this is excel is very very smart okay it will say group by days months quarter year so i say okay year wise so see i have got the year wise data. Okay. So this is such a beautiful way to get the data to the senior managers. Okay. No, you will say, no, I don't want uh, month year wise. So you will ungroup. Okay. Right click on ungroup. You will say group by, I want quarter wise. Okay. So you can say quarter one, two, three, four, right? There is one problem here. The quarter wise, it is not going, giving quarter for yearly, right? So We'll ungroup it. Okay, how do we do it? Group wise starting, let's say 2009. Okay, you say quarter wise. Okay, so you have got this. Okay, but you have got this also one problem. Okay, so what you do is we'll say, okay, let's say group. Okay, so we have got one group one and then these all are in other group uh, okay there is a, okay we can group them so we can make it like a okay so there was january was missed but we can actually un, we can make a group or ungroup and then make a group of them so there are like many ways we can just we'll see where it missed Okay, so we select this and we group. 
and select okay we have to just one minute we have to select this okay select this group and then we select this and then group it so you you can actually make your own groups so you can see group group and then if you they have the group cells and then you can drag and then you a uh, plus you can click so, so field uh, pivot table is very very uh, versatile uh, tool okay you can actually design and you can make it subtotal okay so see subtotals i want to show all subtotals at the bottom at the top bottom means see it is group one total it has given it has given group two total it has given grand total right so you should learn this grouping in this grouping subtotal you can do okay cannot group because it already it is part of the group okay so you can subtotal you can change it okay so you it is removed the month right so what we want is okay we want you to learn okay this pivot tables okay so you want to learn grouping so we have this data once we had the grouping okay so this is one way to do now i don't want the sales i want the profit so what we can do is we can give the sales here and we can bring the profit here so see profit also has come right but if you want let's say sales region wise what you can do okay so let's say you want to know how much is the sales in january in punjab so what you can do is that is called as a group report filter so region i will put it in the drag and drop in the filter okay so see if i click on andhra see it will give me only the data for andhra so a manager can actually actually filter it out okay i want andhra and let's say karnataka both so i if i click on karnataka it will go on, give only for karnataka but i want andhra and karnataka both so i have to select this multiple item and i say okay andhra and karnataka both i want and let's say let's say tamil nadu also i want and kerala only the south india i want so andhra karnataka and then i'll say okay so that way i can get so once you have this you can see this region will give this multiple items are over here right? and then he can click on this he can get the month wise report also okay right but if you want okay salesman wise i want so he can put the salesman also as a filter and he can say okay give me abhishek so he has selected abhishek as the salesman for and the region or all, all this and he's saying okay tell me how much abhishek is generating the revenue in this region okay he can actually select all also so he will get all region for abhishek let's say if you want bishnu and abhishek both so okay and he will get for bishnu and abhishek so the pivot table is a very useful way to create data for your uh, customers okay, or your senior managers they are your customers and there are ways to create pivot reports and all we are not covering that we'll cover it in like your specialization specific uh, sessions when we are doing 